Hi everyone, I am Rebecca from Chemnitz and welcome to the recap of the February 2019 Chemnitz Dialong. Um, in the live stream last month, I dyed three different yarn bases, uh, colors inspired by this under the sea moment. I was at the New England Aquarium with Keith and I saw this light shimmering into a fish tank and I was just so inspired by that moment. I actually shared this as a video instead of just a still image um, because I felt that, well, the light level was too low for me to actually capture the, what it looked like in a still picture on my phone, but I also thought that that gave the shimmery, shimmery quality to our inspiration. I started off with some Knit Picks Swish DK and I took a bunch of different colors of Dharma Acid Dyes, um, Tangelo for a coral color, Sage Leaf for some green, and then a few different blues, um, Navy, uh, ooh, Peacock Blue, I think, and Frozen to give the, the blue tones of the water. And I layered these colors on top of each other really randomly so we could get some short bursts of color. The color struck really, really quickly, so we almost have these thick looking speckles on the yarn. But I think that for this first shot, when I was trying to see if I had mixed colors pale enough or deep enough, uh, I'm really happy with this beautiful yet subtle colorway. Next up, I decided to dye two different shimmery colorways at the same time. And the bases were Knit Picks Stroll Glimmer and Knit Picks Gloss Fingering Weight Yarn. Gloss is 70% merino, 30% silk, and the Stroll Glimmer is 70% Superwash Merino, 25% Nylon, 5% Stellina. And so each of these have a different quality, shimmery quality, whether it's the Silver Stellina or the Sheen of the Silk that sort of aids with the inspiration. I think that it can be a lot of fun to pick the yarn base as much as the colors when you're going for a particular inspiration. I use the same colors as before in liquid form, but um, adding a lot more navy, sort of increasing the intensity of a lot of these hues. I dyed both of these yarn bases in the pan at the same time. Since it was low immersion, one skein didn't really absorb more dye than the other, but you can see some subtle ways that they absorb the color differently. Some of these color patches, especially in the navy and some of these brighter blues, they feel sharper and a little more punchy on the stroll glimmer than the gloss. And I believe that's because the colors strike a little faster um, over here, giving us a little bit more intense color and then on the, uh, with, because of the silk content, they absorb a little slower, they spread out a little more, they blend a little more. Um, and it feels a lot more like watercolor um, on our gloss yarn. Which one of these is your favorite? Let me know in the comments. Now comes my favorite part of these dialogue recaps. And this is where I get to feature some of your pictures of things that you created with this inspiration. Whether you blended and spun fiber, dyed yarn, dyed roving, or mixed colors together in some kind of way, you took inspiration from the streams of light and created something that may look similar to what I did or may look completely different. If you want a chance to be featured in future dialogues, um, make sure you share your photos with the hash. <laughs> make sure you share your photos with the hashtag Chemnitz Dialogue on Instagram or reply to the official dialogue photo or video on the Chemnitz Facebook page. You can find links to all my social media below in the description. Thank you so, so much for watching everyone. I cannot wait to see what we will create in March. Stay tuned for our dialogue live stream uh, sometime soon. I am Rebecca from Chemnitz. Make sure you follow me on social media so you don't miss any live stream announcements. And yeah, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications. So that way, 
If you don't see it somewhere else, YouTube can let you know. Thank you so much for watching.